Hi and welcome back. In this video I want to show you how to use an image as the background for your page. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up the completed version of our website here. And you can see I'm using an image for my background. Now the first thing obviously you need to do in order to use an image as a background on a page is to find the image that you wish to use. I would recommend that you find the largest image that you can. Um, at a very minimum the image should be 1280 pixels wide by 1024 pixels tall. And I usually recommend that people um, go up from there to actually 1920 by 1080. That way the l largest monitors which are really used right now, which are generally 24 inch monitors, will um, see the full background image without any space on the left or the right. But in any case, the first thing you need to do is actually find the image. Now after I found the image that I wanted to use for the background, I also brought that image into Photoshop and altered it a little bit. In this case, I lowered the uh, um, the uh, brightness on the image to sort of fade it out a little bit, and I also applied this sepia tone effect to it. So the first step is to find the image and then process it in Photoshop or Fireworks to make it look the way you want your image to look. And then you're going to go ahead and save that image into the images folder of your site. So let's go ahead. I'm going to come back in here to Dreamweaver and I'm going to go into Files here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and open up my style sheet. And all you need to apply that background image to your page is a couple lines of CSS. So I'm going to go into my styles.css sheet here and you can see my code and I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and whoops I went too far I'm looking for the body tag there we go right there now again we're using just a background color here and I'm actually going to leave that background color in place because if somebody does come to my site and has a larger monitor than the our larger monitor resolution I should say than the image I've chosen I don't want them to see white space on either side of the image I want them actually to have that color fill in but again in my case I'm using a large image so that's not very likely to happen and I'm going to go ahead and click at the end of that statement just hit enter to bring myself down to a new line and tab over and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to bring up the background image property the background image property and when I do that you're going to get your Dreamweaver help here and I'm going to select browse and I'm just going to go find the image that I saved into my site so I'm going to go ahead and I'm in my images folder right now and there is my background image right there and again this is 1280 by 960 you may want to find something that's a little bit larger and then I'm gonna go ahead and click OK here and it placed that in there I'm gonna go ahead and put a semicolon on the end of that and hit enter and I need to add one more property and that's the background repeat property now what background repeat property will allow you to do is to control the tiling of the background image and you've seen background images or uh, background patterns probably used on websites before where it's very obvious that there's tiling going on and you can choose to repeat the image either normally by choosing repeat repeat only along the X or the horizontal axis repeat only along the Y or vertical axis or you can say no repeat at all I don't want it to tile and in the case of this background image I don't want it to tile so I'm going to select no repeat there one final property that we're actually not going to use here but that I'll mention at this point is the background attachment property and the background attachment property basically what that allows you to do is either fix the background or allow the background to scroll up and down with your um, with your um, design in the case of what we did in our sample design the 
image scrolls up and down with our content. Let me go ahead and show you that to you really quickly here. Let me go ahead and bring up our site and you can see the background image here. As I scroll up and down you're going to see that the image scrolls with the actual page design. If I want that to be the effect I actually don't need to use the background attachment property. What I do need to use the background attachment property for is if I want to fix the background image if I don't want it to scroll up and down and in that case I would select fixed and actually I am going to go ahead and choose that there just so you can see the difference between the two so we've gone ahead and we've said we should use this image as the background for our page we've said don't repeat the image just fill in with background color if there's not enough space or if there's not enough image to fill all the space and in this case we've said fix the background don't scroll it with the um, page content so I'm going to go ahead and save this and again I've done all this in my style sheet and now I'm going to go ahead and bring up my home page here my index.html page and let's see how that's working go ahead and open that up and I'm going to go into design view here and I'm going to go into live view and there is my background image and you can see actually you can't see it really well right now but you can see that it's not moving as I'm scrolling so that's that background attachment property and again if I bring up our finished version you'll see that this background does scroll up and down and again it's kinda of hard to see this here in design view but you get the point of what's going on there and you can just simply take that off and on the background attachment property off and on to see how the effect um, varies so that in a nutshell is how you use a background image as um, the background for your pages thanks for watching